Welcome to Petrol Town. In this video, I will take you through Petrol 2014 Seismic Voltaire Workflow. The new concept of user perspective allows you to focus on your workflow by filtering domain tabs accordingly. Seismic Voltaire is available in Seismic to Simulation, Geology and Geophysics, and Advanced Geophysics Perspective. Let's select DNG Perspective. As we select DNG Perspective, we notice different domain tabs for the GNG workflow are placed in a logical order to capture user workflow. As we know, synthetic generation is an integral part of seismic interpretation, so we are going to select seismic interpretation domain tab. Seismic interpretation domain tab has seismic well calibration, 2D 3D interpretation, attribute and other work steps. Again, logically ordered according to the interpretation workflow. Seismic well calibration have various tools needed for a comprehensive synthetic generation workflow. Let's select Seismic well type dialog box. In Seismic well type process dialog, under the study type, we have four different type of studies. I will be discussing sonic calibration and synthetic generation. Let's perform sonic calibration first for well A, which is a deweighted well, to correct the sonic log velocities to time depth data, and for accurately hanging the sonic log in time. Let's select Edit Study to open a pre existing sonic study. Here, we are using a D spike sonic log, conditioned using the interactive log conditioning tool of Petrel. And for time depth relationship, we are using check shot. Also from the track manager, I am going to modify the predefined templates. Here, removing the input average velocity and two-way time picked. As you see here in the display, from left to right, we have dripped, residual dripped, sonic, calibrated sonic input and output interval velocity with well tops displayed. Now I am going to auto hide the input pane. As in Petrol 2014, it is not needed to have input pane displayed all the time. This provides us larger workspace while executing our workflows. I will also open the well editing tool palette. can call other tools depending on the workflow using the tool group. Here in this case, I am going to select cross-section editing as I will be using it for editing section later. All this allows user to execute their workflow effectively and efficiently. Next from the tool palette, I am going to create knees and displayed markers. Before doing further editing, let me color fill the output interval velocity directly from tool palette to notice the changes in velocity easily. Let's select edit mode to adjust one of the knee points. As I will adjust one of the knee points, you will observe the changes in the various curves. Specifically, in the restful drift curve, and the differences between sonic and calibrated sonic curve. Let's go to tool palette and select delete knee point and delete the edited knee point followed by deleting all the knee points directly from Velta editing tool palette. Next, let's create knees at check shot from tool palette. As we analyze, we observe the residual drift curve values are dropped except at few points. We also see the difference in sonic and calibrated sonic curve but with reliable velocity variation from the output interval velocity curve. As we are satisfied with sonic calibration, let's open Seismic Voltaic dialog. Here 
in the output tab we can save or set calibrated tdr as active tdr let's set calibrated tdr as active td as we will be using calibrated td relation for synthetic generation now let's open the input tab to carry on synthetic generation study using the edit study mode i'm going to select a pre-existing synthetic study which opens a new well section window here in the input i have recur wavelet with 20 hertz central frequency a seismic amplitude data and for reflection coefficient calculation sonic and density log Let me move the seismic well type dialog to the right so that we can see the synthetic with seismic. Petrel 2014 allows you to generate and analyze the frequency spectrum of the seismic data using Inspector, which is a key aspect in the seismic well type workflow. I have opened Inspector using shortcut Shift Control Spacebar followed by selecting a location using select mode this will display the seismic frequency spectrum we can easily read out the frequency by just selecting the spectrum and by moving the cursor this gives us a good basic understanding of the dominant frequency let's close the inspector let's change the central frequency of the Ricker wavelet to 30 Hz based on the frequencies we have observed as a starting point. We notice one issue in the first track. The input density log in blue color is missing for the shallower section compared to the sonic, resulting in missing reflectivity and hence synthetic for the same interval. In Petrel 2014, using well-known Gardner's relation, we can directly fill the gaps where one of the input log is missing. Once I select Gardner's relation, it generates the reflectivity and hence the synthetic for the missing interval directly from seismic well tie dialog. Let's move the seismic well tie dialog to read the time sheet values from the correlation track for achieving an optimal match. The value is 10 millisecond. Let's enter the same in the time shift tab of Seismic World Tide dialog. We notice some improvements in the match. Let's next do RC modeling for partial synthetic generation. Let's activate it from Seismic Well Tide Tool Palette. By default, it is generated for the full range. Let's delete it. Now, let's zoom in here, near brown color marker, Houston, which is a strong reflector. From the reflection coefficient, series track, Let's select the reflection coefficient near Houston. If we notice, partial synthetic signature is still different from synthetic. Once I add few more reflectivities, the event in synthetic, partial synthetic and seismic matches. In this way, reflection coefficient modeling can be really helpful in validating polarity and also analyzing the contribution of various reflection coefficient for a synthetic trace event generation. In this display, I have zoomed out and removed partial synthetic. As we analyze, we do see mismatch between synthetic and seismic at shallow level, while the strong event near Houston matches well. Let's try stretch and squeeze to address this. The changes due to variable time shift 
in the drift curve and velocity are quite unrealistic. So let's remove the stretch and squeeze by removing the alignment points followed by deleting the alignment points. Let's open the Seismic Well Tie dialog and select a deterministic wavelet extracted using seismic and log data. As we QC, we observe a really good match between seismic and synthetic. Next, we are going to display the synthetic in the interpretation window. Let's close the tool palette and from the favorite pane, open the interpretation window with a random line passing through well A. Also, toggle on the interpretation. To open the synthetic, we will use the new search functionality of Petrel. Using the Ctrl F shortcut key, I have opened the search. We can quickly search by typing synthetic and then selecting the synthetic and display it from the input pane. We can notice a pretty good match between seismic and synthetic. To summarize, I have demonstrated seismic well tie workflow in Petrel 2014, in which all the utilities and tools needed for detailed seismic well tie workflow are directly available in Seismic Well Calibration Group under Seismic Interpretation Domain tab, offering a true interactive environment for you to be close to your data and hence assured productivity.